Hey, it's Sammy Approved. We're hanging out here at the Music Room with r and Collective and Atlantic Records. I am with the talented Kamal. She said it right. Uh, you were afraid I was going to say your name wrong? A lot of people do, but it's okay. I'm, I'm not going to disrespect you like that. It's not disrespectful, it's just real. No, you got to ask, at least for my job, I think that's a little disrespectful. I got to make sure I know your name. And I think it's important that people say people's names right, you know? Just a, just but when your name is hard to pronounce, it's like, there's a little bit of patience you got to ask. I understand. I understand. Well, come out. I'm happy to have you. Thank you. Um, I'm excited for what you're going to do on that stage tonight. For those of you that aren't here, why you ain't here? You know what I'm saying? But look, I'm going to ask you a few questions. Very simple. You know, just tell me what comes to mind. I know that you love music. Obviously, you do it for a living, right? Mm -hmm. What else would you do if, even if it didn't have anything to do with money, you, you're not doing this to support yourself, but you can do anything else in the world besides music, what would that be and why? I'd be a turkey and I would fight to save all the other turkeys from being consumed by the human race. So, you don't eat turkeys? I'm just Absolutely. kidding, nah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, would be a, I would be a filmmaker. Okay. I love film. Um, uh, two things or one thing? Filmmaker is fun. Why would you be a filmmaker? Because you love film. Well, well, they're both descendants of storytelling, you know. Um, but the thing about film is that it's like, to me, the most collaborative art form. There's a place in it for music, musicians. There's a place in it for painting. You know, there's a place in it for people who are have their their craft is a craft and business and business savviness. There's a place for analysts, there's a place for chefs, there's a place for stylists, for uh, people who are into fashion. And depending on the film, there's literally not any single craft that can't touch the film, especially if it's part of like what the character does and his research in that film down to forensic science and so I think it's a cool craft to like um, if you like like to collaborate and learn things from other people, you know. And we're like, our species is a social species, so we need each other. I think film taps into the, the reality that you need uh, really to raise a child or anything worse than it. That's, that's, that's an absolutely great answer. And I'm a fan of storytelling. That's why I do things like this. So absolutely, let's get it. And speaking of collaboration, your dream collaboration, someone you haven't been able to work with yet, someone that maybe you it's not even possible for you to work with because they might not be with us anymore. Dream collaboration. It'd be a turkey. <laughs> but if I can't get a uh, gobble gobble professional, um, uh, to collaborate, or a whale it would be fire. Think about it. Like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> you know? um, but if it had to be a human being, I would collaborate with, you know, I had, if I had to choose only one, I, I, mean, you, I, I would put a bunch of names on a wheel and spin it, you know, because it's something to choose from. Price is right. You know? Come on down, come out. You know? Pick your dream collaboration. You know? I, I'm gonna give you like three and then, in, it's way more, I feel bad. I don't know why, like they don't even know that I'm saying, anyway, so, uh, Bobby McFerrin is a beast. Okay. Uh, Louis. Arm. Nina Simone, Hans Zimmer, Keiko Matsui, I'm sorry, Lauren Hill, Lupe uh, Fiat. Okay, you know what? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I would. It, it, this is like your. This is literally like you have one person you could pick right now. Anybody in on? Not as a human. You already said turkey first, so I thought that was your answer, but now we're gone. we've gone to humans. So yes, humans. I won't stop. We should just move. <laughs> That's what it's Yeah, because, yo, come on. Music. There's like a world of music. Like everything makes sound, you know? Even non-human, mostly non-human. And a lot of it's beautiful. Like birds literally sing. They literally... <laughs> <laughs> You're in the I love it. Okay, so R&B. This is a this is the five senses of love. It's obviously a bunch of dope, um, talented individuals that are hitting the stage tonight. But I want to ask you, in comparison to what you heard growing up, you know R&B, neo soul. How do you think it's evolved to where we are now? Obviously, music is everything, it, but it's also a cycle of sorts. We sample a lot of things, but it, there's a difference in what we hear out of R&B artists today. So my question to you is like, how do you feel like the evolution of R&B? Um, well, technology has grown. 
and I think that has influenced how we perceive music. But there's still obviously a very important place for um, analog things. Like you can have a synth version of every instrument, but it, it, the, the original versions of all the instruments are still unparalleled. So do you use a lot of live instrumentation for your music? Do you prefer to? When I'm lucky, yeah. Um, but you know, I mean, since quickly. But um, but pe people have changed, and and, and and some music's going to change. Our music is going to change as we change. You know, politically, um, the things that we experience socially affect not only what we make, what we make music about, but how we you know make music. Our mood, our, the, the, the social mood of the time. I, I'm giving you a very vague answer, but um, no, I think we change in so many ways. No, but I think that that's a good answer. Um, you know, just considering the fact that we as people are going to change. You know, through through time. But of course, there are going to be some similarities. Like I said, we we like to sample things. We're influenced by so many things. So, great answer. Thank you. So, tell the people. You know, what you have out right now. What you're looking forward to. How you about to rock the stage? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, all right. So, my name is Kamau. K A M A U U. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to look. This one? <laughs> um, K-A-M-A-U-U. Um, just dropped a project called the Kamau Cassette Mix Greens. You can search Mix Greens on Spotify, Apple Music, Google Play, Tidal, um, all the places, YouTube. Um, just drop that. And it's a four project, four song project. And uh, where else is that? Um, we're on tour right now uh, with BJ the Chicago Kid, which is amazing. Right here we're in Atlanta, it's R and B Collective, you know what I'm saying? Atlanta with his parents. So where can they find you on social media? You can find me at Kamal World, K-A-M-A-U-U-W-O-R-L-D with all the turkeys. It's absolutely Kamal right here, R and B Collective Atlantic Records. This can be approved, you already know who we are. Five senses of love. <laughs> All right, Jamal, I love the look. You look amazing. Thank you. Uh, we're going to get into the five senses of love, but literally this time. So you're going to be tasting some things, smelling some things, touching some things. Oh, man. And I hope you enjoy it. Uh, so first, we're going to start with taste. So uh, I'm just going to bring this a little bit closer to you. Um, it's not pork, is it? No, it's not pork. Is it turkey? It's not turkey. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Open wide. Oh, man. Come on, just literally just stick your tongue out. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. What does that, that bring? What memory does that bring to you? Family gatherings and cookouts. It's barbecue sauce, right? Barbecue sauce. Good, good, yeah, yeah uh, barbecue sauce, no, nothing really strong. I don't have any strong memories attached to barbecue sauce. But, um, you know, it's like a cookout thing, you know. It's like back patio, green grass, sunny day, family, siblings, cousins, everybody talking about things, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. Love that. All right, now we're going to get into our smells, okay? I so love now you're smell. Sniffing things. All right, just get a whiff, just a walk. Is that, that honey? It is what? Honey? Yes, what does honey remind you of? When I was a young lad, as I rode down uh, Suburban Street on my bicycle, that's probably not a word, my bicycle, um, in the distance I see my loved ones, family, siblings, and god siblings, and they're yelling something to me. I don't know what it is. Um, and then I started feeling these things poke me, and I realized they were yelling to me that there was a beehive. And apparently I rode through it and I got stung up many, 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 many times um, on the back of my damn head, behind my ears, on my neck, on my back. I took my shirt off, started twisting around my head like a helicopter, legit, and I was running down the street. And um, yeah, it was, a, it was a good experience in my life. Um, I love these. I love honey, and it didn't make me love them any less. It made me scared for a couple years. Wow. Great story, great story. Thank you for bringing us down memory lane. The next one. Thanks for bringing me back to my traumatic experiences. Thank you. Very so kind. Sorry. So, so sorry. Okay, the next one is going to be touch, feel. Um, I think you'll really enjoy these, honestly. This is so funny. Ooh, it's soft. Okay. What does it feel like? This. If my investigator mind. Is it, is it underwear? No. Are these a big old panties? 
It is some undies. All right, for someone with a big old butt. I don't know, is that what this is? Yes. Ooh. She said, I think you're gonna like this. Mm, I picked them out myself. Draws. Big drawers, you know? That's what's up, you know? Satin. I like it. Satin, big big satin drawers, that's good. Make sure you, you cover it in these streets. Absolutely. You know what I'm okay. We're gonna take the blonde folds off. I'm gonna first. You don't want to ask me if the, the satin drawers oh, brought back any memories? Satin, yeah, what do the satin drawers remind you of? I'm sorry. Nothing really. I just was wondering if you were gonna ask. All oh, right. Yeah. Here we go. Right, so I don't have a good story about uh, big satin drawers. You sure you don't have a story about big satin drawers? Not that I want to share. Okay. <laughs> All right. The next two you will need to say. I don't know. I just thought this was gonna be cool. What, what does this remind you of? Invoking yeah, it makes you think of a land before time. Who was the one who said, I found it? I, I didn't like her, whatever her name was. She was annoying. But yeah, this is uh, this is the, the big sharp tooth. Remember sharp tooth, what they call it? Yeah, you got a nice flat head, flat head. You remember that? I need to watch that movie again. I found it. Yeah. When's the last time you watched that movie? Um, it's been a while, but... I randomly saw some runoff episodes of it on YouTube, and I was like, oh, snap. One where, like, they were teaching each other how to swim. I was like, oh, they got other episodes. I, I forgot, it was like, I just something about the movie. Yeah, it is a movie. Yeah, I'm thinking about the movie. Yeah, yeah the, the flathead, flathead, yeah. Becky and... All that, okay. Well, the next thing, you're gonna listen to a classic R&B song. Um, maybe just let me know where this takes you. Okay. It takes me to Brazil. You ready? Yes. <laughs> this is a very awkward phase in my life. Why? Because people made fun of me. And I had an icebox in my heart used to be. Still a little chilly in there. I feel like I'm talking to the theme music. This song feels like being alone in the rain. It's not, not really a pleasant song. And he sings like he's cold. No, this is back to Omar, yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is like, this is back when I used to wear like baggy pants and try to like fit in and it didn't work. And I used to just like write poems about girls that didn't exist. I don't know why I can't just write a poem about a girl that did exist. Yeah. Good times. Damn, I'm vibing out. Thank okay. you, Kamal, for yeah. playing the five senses of love. Literally, we tapped in here with the Iron Bay Collective, Atlantic Records, Kamal, Sammy approved. We here. We out here. You're going to kill the stage. I'm excited for you. Hopefully, I'll give you life instead. Oh, I guess kill it is kind of like a little... Morbid. Morbid. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Mm-hmm.